over here on the left hand side. This uh, lot of land here used to be stages 22 through 25. This area has undergone some renovation for future expansion. But it's seen quite a bit of production over the years. A uh, number of your favorite TV shows uh, have filmed it right here. Shows like CSI, Colony, and Superstore. Superstore, starring America Ferrera and Ben Feldman, relocated to stage 16, which you'll see over there on the left-hand side. It's next to stage 17. And it's one of the examples of shows that make their home here on the Universal Law. Just like World of Dance, America's Got Talent, and the Mindy Project makes its home here. Hi everybody, I'm Mindy, and welcome to the world famous Universal Studios train tour. I wish you could join me, but I'm really busy shooting my show with the Mindy Project. Also, we do the So as you can see, a number of shows make their home here and have made their home here over the years. Take a look. networks that are affiliated with NBC Universal. You'll see stage 44, which is home to The Good Place, starring Kristen Bell and Ted Danson. And over here to the left-hand side, feel free to raise a glass as you see Ted there welcoming you to the front line. Also on the left-hand side, we see the production bungalows. Now these bungalows are used in the pre-production stages of filmmaking. Now, filmmaking can be broken down into three stages. Pre-production, when you revise the script and discuss casting choices. Uh, production when you shoot the film, then post-production when you edit the film. A number of companies have their offices over here on the left-hand side, like Illumination Entertainment, which has brought you with Despicable Me movies, The Secret Life of Pets, Sing, and of course Despicable Me 3 is in theaters now. What's great about the bungalows that we're passing is <laughs> that they belong to a number of Hollywood icons. There's a buffalo. Hitchcock. And we'll take a look at what some famous faces have to say about him. You said you could move into that office. I said, no, I can never be a Hitchcock's office. That should be a driver. But 
Specifically, the first stop that we're making here in the back lot, on your right-hand side, you'll see the Metro sets. Metro make short for Metropolitan. And we're coming up to a commonly used street known as Brownstone Street. You probably recognize it from the movie Bruce Almighty, starring Jim Carrey. You'll see it there on your monitors, as well as on your right-hand side. That's Brownstone Street. It looks a little bit different on screen, doesn't it? That's because they've added some thick trees and grass. That's all the result of the production design team. They're the ones in charge of researching an area and authentically bringing that area to life. We're researching a time period and authentically bringing that time period to life. And speaking of time, anybody here like to time travel? Yeah? Okay, I'm not the only one. Then you're gonna love this location. This is known as Courthouse Square, but for you fans oh, of the yeah, Back to the way. Future movies, you'll recognize this as Hill Valley. Oh, where's the place where they had to do um I have writer producer Bob Gale and Christopher Lloyd here to tell you more about this location, Courthouse Square. It was actually back in the square and inspired the entire Oh yeah, I remember this. I saw the show. Where is it? Uh, where's Bob Gale? Right there. I need a closer, I can't see it. And take a look at some other great filming examples that took place here in Courthouse Square. Disneyland, 1956. Nothing was 
try. Yeah, but you know, if the Pirates of the Caribbean breaks down, the Pirates don't eat the tourists. Well, it's nice to find a fellow with a keen sense of humor. Are you finished, Mr. Slade? No, I'm just getting warmed up. Every time you bed down for the night, you'll look back into the darkness and wonder if I'm there. Some night I will be. Each and every man under my command owes me 100 Nazi scouts. And I want my scouts. Who are you? I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I'm Spartacus! I am what is the fellow's name on third base? What is the fellow's name on second base? I'm not asking you who's on second. Who's on third? I don't know. Third base. Excuse me. What are you babbling about? How do we do the right thing? That's it? That's it. I got it. I'm gone. I wish I knew how to quit you. Wow, that is a catchphrase. Isn't that good? Uh, I think this gets more than one next. And the area that we're in right now is known as New York Street. Here's Jimmy Fallon to tell you more about it. Hey, everyone, welcome to New York. I got my start right here in New York on Saturday Night Live. This is actually my old neighborhood. What's got mugged over there? An old woman. Tough lady. This is my favorite hot dog guy. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Remember me? No. <laughs> Just like old times. Gotta love New York City. Hey! I'm walking here! I'm walking here! Hey, it's cool, guys. I was just, you know, just walking. So it's not exactly New York, but a lot of times when you see New York in the movies, it was shot right here on the Universal of Metro. Hey, everyone, we're getting ready to take a trip to Skull Island, but before we go there, here's Peter Jackson. It's the original King Kong I like films that just take you away from your tram is winding its way through a very rough, narrow trail. It turns off, it's not my fault at all, guys. The visitors hey, so that sneak peek really at some of the wildlife from Skull Island. In a sense, this is like a mini sequel, um, a mini continuation. We are just taking the, the Kong and Skull Island and the dinosaurs that we established in our feature film. And this is, uh, you know, another day. Uh, All right, everyone, please remain seated. Hold on to your belongings and welcome to Skull Island. Thank you. 
world's largest, most intense 3D experiences. So everybody go, woo! Alright, and I know many of you are wondering, yes, that is real dinosaur slobber that they use in the ride, nothing but the best for Universal. And you still have a pair of 3D glasses, right? Hold on to those 3D glasses. You're going to be using them later on during the tour, we'll let you know when. King Kong 360 3D was created by Peter There's more! I think that's what we're watching. And we'll do a part two. And maybe we'll just keep going. When turns off, it turns off. And they've also worked on comic films using screens that are 40 feet high and 180 feet long. They'll be able to bring you that 360 3D experience. Many of you are fans of dinosaurs. I'm sure many of you are fans of Jurassic World, right? Yeah. yeah. On their heads and raising their hands. Okay. Remember earlier when I promised you a celebrity? I wasn't allowed to tell you this at the load line, or else there'd be pandemonium throughout the park. We actually have one of the stars from Jurassic World here today. So everybody, take out your cameras, take out your cell phones, take out a sheet of paper. You might get an autograph. Get ready to meet Chris Pratt. Do you have a sheet of paper? Do you have a sheet of paper? Star coming up on the left hand side. That's from Chris Pratt. Do you have a sheet of paper, Dad? Daddy, have a sheet of paper. It's on your shirt. That's his car, actually. Dad, can you have a sheet of paper? I want to see this movie. On the left hand side, you're looking at picture cars. A picture car is any car that shows up on screen. In many instances, these cars are just as famous. And please remain seated, everyone. Uh, like I was saying, these cars are just as famous as the actors and actresses who drove them. What you may not know is that these aren't the only cars used during filming. They have multiples of the cars in case they might need to damage or wreck a car during a stunt. And you can't talk about stunts without referencing Dad, do you have the Fast something? and Furious franchise, right? It's okay if he signs the shirt. Ben agrees. Yeah. It's okay if he signs the shirt. What? That used to be my car. Yeah. <laughs> Maria's when she died. I see Chris Brown eventually. Uh, and I know many of you were excited that Fate of the Furious was in theaters earlier this year, breaking box office records. We'll keep that excitement up because we're taking a trip right now to an island off of Costa Rica. Welcome to Jurassic Park. Oh, there's a scene up here. Now the vehicles and props that we're passing were featured in one of Universal's biggest movie franchises, Jurassic Park. The most recent film in the franchise, Jurassic World, not only smashed box office records, but it also featured a There's cameo a with the famous musician restaurants work. Take a look at your monitors. That is Jimmy Buffett right there. Trying to protect his margaritas from the hordes of pteranodons. And Universal City Ball also has its own margarita bill now that you can check out later on. And everyone, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, I forgot to tell you about the dinosaurs. No, no, it's okay, everyone, relax. 
No, really, it's okay. Relax. There's a window right here keeping me dry, so I didn't get wet at all, okay? Thank you for your concern. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. It's very kind. But seriously, you can't have Jurassic Park without dinosaurs, right? It's one of the most important elements. Equally as important in the Jurassic Park films, the weather played a large role. And speaking of weather, did anybody check today's weather forecast? Well, here's the Today Show's Al Roker with today's weather report. Take it away, Al. Sorry. Oh, my God. Cool and cloudy in Middle Europe. Expect snow and sleet on New York Street, and we've got a high chance of fog and precipitation for Skull Island, Amity Island, and Isla de Blanc. That's your forecast for today. Now here's a look at what's going on in your neck of the Anybody wake up today and say, man, it looks like it's going to rain? You did? Then you must be Nostradamus. Like you could tell the future? Because it's raining right now. This is movie rain. No relation to movie phone. This rain is a result of some sprinklers strategically placed at high points. They shoot the water up into the air. Then it comes back down naturally, creating the effect of rain. That this angle. flash flood that I was talking about. That's not going to happen, right? Down there. Wait, say it again. What? Uh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Car 3 is telling me to look to the left. Everybody look to the left. just water. It's just water. And thank you for asking. No, I didn't get wet that time either. But thanks so much for your concern. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, that effect is a result of some large tanks of water at the top of the hill. They dump it all out. They're at the bottom of the hill. There's some drains to take it all in. And it just gets recycled. I know what you're thinking, but relax. No water was harmed during the making of that effect, right? And if you want to know what it would look like on screen, remember the movie Big Fat Liar? You can't outrun the wolf, kid! Yeah, we'll see about that. Why not? Hang on, funny monster! Here we are at six points. This area dates all the way back to the silent film times. Back then, they used to have multiple productions filming simultaneously. And they did that back then because they didn't have to worry about sound. A lot of classic duels happened right here. Remember this one? for the both of us, Jimmy Fallon. Well, I ain't going anywhere, Jimmy Fallon. Now look here. Nice folks in this tram don't want no trouble. They just want to check out Six Points, one of the oldest sets on the Universal Live. I don't just swear John Wayne and Jimmy Stewart shot a few of their westerns. That's right. That's where I aim to shoot here. Looks like we got ourselves a Mexican standoff. Lucky shot. Now, let's see you mount up and get out of town while the getting's good. All right. Well, I'll see you again, fella. Well, you can count on me, fella. Thank you. This is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Well, we just have to talk it out, that's all. That and take a look at some of the cowboy heroes that Jimmy was referencing. Alright, and in car four, could you please keep your arms and legs inside the tram? Actually, I mean, that's for everybody, but uh, specifically in car four, I think there's somebody with legs or arms or some kind of appendage. 
sticking out of the tram. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. You're the best. I really mean that. Now what's great about Six Points is that it's been used in non-Western fare. Films like Amistad, The Color Purple, and Saving Mr. Banks. All shots and scenes in Six Points. Now right over here to the right hand side you'll see Stage 50. It's one of the sound stages here on the back lot. And we drove by some sound stages on the front lot. Many of you might have been wondering what it'd be like to go inside of a sound stage. Well, Santa got your letter because that's going to happen in a few moments. We're going to be going inside of stage 50 to get, to get a great example of a hot set. So I'm going to have to go off camera here, but I will talk you through everything you're about to see. But before we get there, we're going to just pass by the area where they filmed for the Emmy-nominated TV show, Moment Family. There is no place like home and family. Hi, Universal Studio fans. I'm Mark Steinis. And I'm Jenny Nowlin. Come with us as we go behind the scenes with your favorite actors, musical performers, and celebrity chefs. Plus, amazing DIYs, fun fashions, and so much more. Please, everyone, remain seated and hold on to your belongings. Here inside of Stage 50, like I said, we're gonna get a great example of a hot set. A hot set means that everything is in place and ready for filming. All that's necessary is for the actors to step on their marks and the director to yell out action. What they've done here is they've recreated the bar. Two-week vacation to Paris. Bonjour, Ben. Ça va? Vous allez bien? 
I knew it'd be Jaws here. I want to go on the ride. Oh my god, look. Get out the water, sir. Immediately, get out of the water. Shark. Yeah, this is the ride I wanted to go on. Oh, just too late. The water's red. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, there's a shark right there. Oh, he's gonna jump on us. Where is it? Right over there. Everyone, I'm so sorry to see that. Please remain calm. Keep your arms and legs inside the tram. Do not panic. We're gonna contact the proper authorities. Oh, well. There's still a shark in the water. So just please. Don't mind the fact that the shark is pulling the pier on the right. Oh, oh that was hard. Does anybody see the shark? In the trees. Oh. And everyone say hello to Bruce, the mechanical shark of the Jaws movies. You'll see him over there on the right hand side as he slides back into the water. And please make sure that you're sitting down, everybody. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Now, Bruce does a great job, like I said, of scaring people all day, every day. You may not notice that during the filming of the movie Jaws, it's actually really difficult to work with. I wanted to go on the ride I'm though. Kidding. Here, take a look. That's much more than you didn't know what to do. You were probably wrong. Wherever you were on the island, you could hear the radio. They were always saying, the shark is not working. We're being used to shark. We just waited a minute. We just wanted to go on the ride. The shark was well enough for a while though. And for those who say, wait a minute, that area looks familiar for other reasons? Okay, fair enough. If you were a fan of the show Murder, She Wrote, starring Angela Lansbury, then you'll no, recognize the location it. we just passed as Cabin Cove. It's not common for sets of locations to be used over and over again. A good example of that is over here on the right-hand side, you'll see the chicken ranch, which is used in the best of a workhouse in Texas, as chicken. well as the show about a boy. And it, and it was featured in the LMFAO Party Rocker music video. Everybody just have a good time. And you know what, we will have a good time as we turn into this neighborhood that many of you have been desperately wanting to see. Here we are in Wisteria Lane, the home of many seasons of the Desperate Housewives. The main the on the left hand side, that's right, you guessed it. That's the one that belonged to... Yes, that's right, Gabriel Sunday, so he's played by... Evelyn Moria. Yeah. Okay. We're trying to quiz each other up here. Uh, I don't know how that's working or not. But over here on the left hand side, many of you will recognize this helm. This is the one that belongs to Lucy Hoffman's character. I know it's painted a different color. That is the actual house that was used. And I can see fans grinning from ear to ear. It's like you turn on your TV sets and then you just jump right in. If there is one thing everyone in suburbia can appreciate, it's a good thing.
very typical suburban setting that dates actually all the way back to Ronald Reagan's acting days when he started a movie called Bedtime for Bonzo in this very location. But back then this was known as Columbia Street. Syria that is not supposed to be there. I'm so sorry, I'm going to have to interrupt the tour and I'm going to have to call this in. This is security. What's going on, studio tour? Hey, security. Just wanted to let you know that there is a suspicious looking Dodge Charger parked over by Syria Lane. Okay, tour. I'll send someone down to check it out ASAP. All right, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Oh. And thank you everyone for your patience and cooperation. There's just a certain protocol that we here at Universal as employees have to follow when things are right. So Studio it's tour, looks like we might have an issue. I'm patching you into Agent Novak from the FBI. I'm sorry to interrupt your fun, but we've got video surveillance on that charger you all saw. We ran it through the system and the driver has been positively identified as Dominic Toretto. I've been tracking this guy for a while. He's a hardened criminal. He's likely armed and he's definitely dangerous. My men and I are on our way to apprehend him right now. If you see him, don't be a hero. Don't engage him. Just keep a safe distance and report any further sightings to studio security immediately. We'll handle it from there. Thanks a lot, Agent Don't worry, everyone. It's going to be fine. We're going to continue with the tour as promised. The Grinch is all Christmas. From Whoville, from Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas. And it was a large scale production where they used over 2 million linear feet of styrofoam, enough artificial snow to cover 9 football fields, and they also used 1,938 candy canes in the entire production. I know some of you are saying that sounds crazy. Is it crazy or is it psycho? Now here we are at the Bates Motel, and for those of you from out of town looking for a place to stay that has affordable lodging, Wi-Fi, and HBO all, inclu all included, the Bates Motel offers you all that and more. But obviously the biggest selling point is look at all this free parking. Here. Hey Norman, I was just telling the guests about the vacancies. Do you want to take a stab at it? Okay. Sorry guys, I guess the Airbnb is a better way to go. My apologies. Got you on camera! <laughs> and speaking of going, we will go past the Psycho House. And if you look at one of the upstairs windows, you'll see that Mother is home. Pretty scary. Speaking of scary, we're coming up to one of the sets for Steven Spielberg's War of the Worlds, starring Tom Cruise and Dakota Fanning. Yes, that is a real Boeing 747 that was bought and destroyed to make this set as authentic as possible. Yes, those are real cars that were bought and destroyed to make this set as authentic as possible. And yes, over here on the right hand side, that's a real mailbox that was all destroyed to make this set as authentic as possible. Oh, about authentic. Whoa. Nice sound effects. Is this a real airplane? I wanted to destroy an Look at the turret. The vision of Stephen. 
All the zombies? Oh, there are still zombies here. Yeah, you can see them right there. We, so, we can see them moving in the curtains. Mom, they're still here. Yeah, they're right there. They're gonna come out of there. They're in the curtain. Yeah. Hey, zombie! Hi! Big fan of your work! They're behind the curtains. They're behind the curtains. They can grow on your legs, not mine. Yeah. Hi! You shouldn't keep the windows open. It's bad for your health. Even with this set, Steven Spielberg used 500 effect shots in his making of War of the Worlds. Oh, I see him. They're coming the out. He's ever used in any of his films. Now, speaking of special effects, over here to the right-hand side, you'll see an area that's no stranger to special effects. This is known as Falls Lake. It's used scenes from Inception, as well as Hunger Games Catch and Fire. Also, Dunkirk filmed some scenes here. Take a look at some other great filming examples. you wondering that was a real George Clooney, but a CGI cow. The CGI comes into play with that big blue backdrop over there on the right hand side. That is the world's largest blue screen. Blue screens and green screens are what are used with CGI, computer generated imagery. Now it's worth noting that once Look, there is this might be more serious than I thought. What just happened? This is a security line. Who are you? I'll tell you who I am, boy. I'm the reason bad guys use a nightlight. I'm the reason the boogeyman begs his mama to look under his bed. And I'm the reason you just lost control of this whole operation. My name is Special Agent Luke Hobbs of the U.S. Diplomatic Security Service. And as of 16.9 seconds ago, I'm the man in charge. The hell you are. Let me clue you in on two things, sweet cheeks. One. There's a high-value witness from the Federal Protection Program aboard your vehicle. Oh, God. And two, an international crime scene. get in the car. I'm going to die Safety. I'm the one holding the gun. 
Yeah, but mine's a whole lot bigger than yours. Um, let's put this guy this out. Let's go, Cookie Puss. Ugly pseudo max. Cheap. Somebody out there with a really pissed off shot. It's gonna get out there fast. Yeah, don't worry. Lucky for you, our whole family is protected. Are you kidding me, Roman? You didn't shut off your phone, bro? I gotta call you back. I'm just, I'm in the middle of something. See what I'm talking about? Call you back. Yeah. It was all vibrate. Shout out to us. I just can't hold it, bro. Let me. I've got a phone, too. Driver, who's that vehicle? I bought this phone, too. It's about to be a real interesting. I know. I just wanted to say that. The police is all warmed up right next door. Final step. 
stuff. Don't be sad and blue. And everyone, how about a big round of applause for the man who made this all possible? Our driver, Ben. He's going to be available momentarily for any photographs, autographs, or financial planning advice, so feel free to see him then. Hello. Enjoy the rest of your day here at Universal drive. Studios Hollywood, the no, entertainment hub of LA. My name is Peter, and I've been brought to you by my parents. See what you, about the famous guy? Yeah, what about the famous guy? I saw his car. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys later. Bye bye.